Hello, I'm Neil. This is the Tightwood Dad vlog. It's day 22. All the twos. So day 22, like I read somewhere that, that it takes 21 days to form a habit. I don't feel like I've formed a habit yet with this daily vlog. Basically, I show up every day here on YouTube to share with you the joy and the happiness that we're trying to find through my family's wanton spending, all of us as a unit. And I'm trying to share that happiness with you. I hope it's working for you. So 22 days in, this was going to be a very, very quick video because we only spent on one thing today. Uh, just take a shot of it now. We had a top-up shop in the big chain supermarket, put it down as a joy of 10. What's not to like about reduced Chinese meals and pretend Japanese sushi? But there's something else I wanted to share with you because it happened a few weeks ago. I listen just relentlessly to anything that Seth Godin produces and he has a podcast, it's called the Akimbo Podcast. It's brilliant, I'll put a link in the description below. But they, they choose two questions every week. I imagine that one or two people sending questions. I was shocked that mine was chosen and I wanted to share it with you because his answer I think is beautiful. And I'll put words on the screen so you can read along with them too. Hi Seth, this is Neil Mossy calling from Hampshire in the United Kingdom. Long time listener, first time caller. I have a son and he's 10 and in under a year he's going to go to high school, big school. And we have a culture in the UK that that is pretty much the time when we give our kids a smartphone. It's under the, the pretext that they all need some way of uh, calling home if they get into trouble to and from school. But I can't help feeling as a dad that I'm effectively giving him the equivalent of a pack of cigarettes. And on the surface, it, it looks like my options are obvious. But I'm really curious, Seth, what do you think my options are at this stage. Am I helping him to effectively do the equivalent of starting smoking or am I helping arm him to develop himself in the industrial smartphone complex? Really interested to hear your thoughts on this. Thanks again, Seth. This is such a poignant question and I really appreciate you asking it. I guess I'd start with this. What is parenting for? that 12-year-old, that 13-year-old in your house? What is your role in helping that person become who they can become? Well, one model, which seems like the easy short-term model, is to help them fit in, to help them go all the way into the center of a gang of other 13-year-olds. There's enormous pressure on 13-year-olds to do this. The question we need to ask is, does fitting in the most lead to the best life, to the happiest long-term outcome? Or is it okay to challenge our kids, encourage our kids, and push our kids to not be the one who's the lowest common denominator, to not be the one who fits in, to learn what it feels like to turn to people and say, no, I don't want to do that. Because without parents, that's really unlikely to happen. So you're probably guessing what my answer is here. We know a lot about the efficacy of smartphones. We also know a lot about their side effects. It seems to me, and your mileage may vary, that a kid who waits two years or three years longer than average to start diving deep into the maelstrom of Instagram and Facebook and the rest of social media probably comes out ahead on the other side. I don't know. No one knows for sure, but we do need to answer the question. This parenting I'm doing, what is it for? Because if all you want to do is encourage your kid to fit in, that's the easy path. Thanks again for listening. We'll see you next time. Ah, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? So that's it. Um, if you've reached this point in the vlog, thank you. 
uh, why not leave me a thumbs up to let me know that someone reached this point in the video that would be lovely and if you haven't done so already i'm very grateful for everyone who has subscribed because each subscription takes me closer to that magic golden 1000 subscriptions i guess that's part of the social media addiction that uh, that was talked about in the podcast i've learned nothing at all but uh, what i have learned is that if i reach a thousand subscribers youtube start paying us some pennies so thank you for taking us closer to that and i'll see you on day 23 tomorrow's tightwad dad vlog can you please help my daddy get 1000 subscribers just click on his face thanks bye how was that